wait, wait, wait. Listen. Hear that? Greg's not here heckling me today. It's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Usually he's here giving me crap about, well, everything. What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, and we've got a new release for you. Now, these have been insanely popular. Every release we've had from Jack Wolf Knives, and we've got a new one. And uh, I really like the way that he's doing his marketing. I really like the way that he's doing these, uh, you know, limited releases. And the designs are fantastic. So... The new one is going to be the Midnight Jack. And we're going to show it to you in just a moment, along with an unboxing. But before we get started, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, so you, you, right there, yes, you, I'm talking, yes, I'm talking to you. I know, I know. You don't usually have me call you out like that. So you will know. And we've got new releases. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. So, we've got the Midnight Jack. We've got four different versions, as have been the case with all of the Jack Wolf releases. But before we actually dive in and show it up close, we're going to do an unboxing right here, right meow. Got it. This one right here. And uh, judging by the label right here, we've got Midnight Jack Fat Carbon Purple Haze. So, it only stands to reason that I will use my own so i like to open the tops of these boxes with a knife um so that i don't tear anything makes it easier just get under there wedge it open like a little pry bar for a cardboard um and since this was in purple haze i'm going to use my very own re8 exo in purple haze just slide it under there this is how i do mine so slide it under there and lift it up that way and I know it's a little thing. I know it's stupid. But that way, these tend to rip when they get caught. And that's my biggest pet peeve is is those ripping right there when they get caught. So um, we're going to unbox this now. Um, as with all of them, uh, so Ben uh, Belkin puts the story of how the company was uh, kind of came about with his uh, grandfather, uh, Jack Wolf Belkin. And um, I tell you what, uh, getting to finally meet Ben at Blade Show uh, was super cool. He was an incredibly nice guy um, and absolutely love working with him. Dude's really awesome. Um, and that goes a long way. That really means a lot in this business. Um, so this one's going to have the same style of artwork that you've come to know and love on these tins right here. And this is one part of it that I absolutely love about his knives is each of them are unique, individual, and the product presentation is phenomenal. Now, on the bottom of the tin, I'm going to show you right here. If we can get it to... You'll see some lettering right there. There's some uh, like orangish-yellow lettering right there. This one says FC Purple 2022. So it gives you the year. It gives you the actual finish, and that's going to match up with the knife itself. Um, so we're going to pop that open. Now this one is going to be, like the rest of them, it's going to come with the POG. And uh, if you got to go to Blade Show, he had the slammers there. Uh, I've got one somewhere with me here. I think it's in my bag um, that I keep with me because it uh, it reminds me of my childhood. The pogs, the slammers, all that stuff. It was a lot of fun. 
Um, so now diving right in, you of course have the knife right here wrapped up in the cleaning cloth. Then we've also got the Midnight Jack Howl sticker. And of course the really nice soft leather sheath um, knife slip right there with the Jack Wolf knife logo right there on it. So now let's take a look at this one. We'll unroll it there. And there she is. The Midnight Jack single blade Barlow design. Nice modern take on that one with the purple haze fat carbon on the handles. Let's dive in, take a look at this up close, and take a look at the specs as well. So we'll go ahead and open that one right there. Another thing that I love is the grind work on these blades. Um, I love being able to see the, gr the grind there. I love being able to see um, how it matches up, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the little details, like the swedge here, that is not sharpened. That's not a double edge. Um, just a nice swedge there. Um, so really, really cool sheep's foot blade here. Uh, and really digging that design. Also, it's got the long pull. Everyone knows I love long pulls on uh, traditional slip joint knives. Uh, and this one's no different, even though this one's um, a little bit different than you normally see. It's more modern, uh, more sleek, definitely milled out, and uh, definitely has the, you know, the sharpness to it. Um, but really really cool so jack wolf right there uh and just small unobtrusive on the blade m390 on the back side so m390 blade steel on this 3.78 inch closed knife features a 2.91 inch sheep's foot bowler m390 blade and uh this one's got the bead blasted titanium bolsters with integral liners so what that means is basically each side has been milled individually so it's a um, integral liner and bolster combination they're both the same piece um, adds to the rigidity and then uh, of course got the back spring back here uh, those are bee blasted titanium and then this one is obviously with the fat carbon handles this one's coming in at $299.99 um, and these are going to be available on Friday so they're available now at the time this uh, video is airing. This video is airing on Friday, the 15th of July, and these are available. Now, l as is always the case with the Jack Wolf knives, um, th there's only a limited amount of these. So once they're done, they're done. Now, patterns might come back in different materials in the future, uh, but um, as of the current release, once these are gone, they're gone. Okay. So that's the purple haze. That one's coming in at two ninety nine. Then we've got three others. And these are all coming in at two seventy four ninety nine. Uh so we've got the natural micarta. We'll show that one up close right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Um just beautiful fit and finish, beautiful uh work. We've also got the green canvas micarta right here. I really dig uh, the green. I love the way that it looks with the bee blasted titanium um, on the bolster and liners there. And then we've also got the black canvas micarta. And uh, one thing that's interesting to note um, as far as ergonomics and as far as uh, the way this is made is um, it, it's kind of understated, but this is a uh, really cool coffin-shaped handle. Uh, if you look at that, it on first glance, it doesn't look like it, but it definitely is. So you can see the uh, the coffin corners cut right there and also up top. Right. So this one, actually, it looks rounded, but it's not. You can tell that it's uh, it's actually been um, been cut right there. And I really, really dig this knife. I think it's super cool. Um, this one's called the Midnight Jack. So, like I said before, two seventy four ninety nine for all of the micarta handled versions, 
And then two ninety nine ninety nine for the fat carbon purple haze right there. Um, and you know, these are also yeah, they're beautiful. Um, and yeah, they're a more uh, I guess you could say higher end knife. Um, but these are going to be fantastic working blades. We're talking Bowler M three ninety, and with that sheep's foot uh, style right there, and a nice hollow grind. That's going to be a tremendous working blade right there. Uh, I absolutely dig it. These are really cool. Let us know in the comments what you think. Um, if you have any, any uh, Jack Wolf knives already, you're definitely going to want to get your hands on this. Um, let us know about your experience with Jack Wolf um, and, and how much you love them. Talk to us in the comments down below and let us know if you like this style. This one's a little bit different, um, and I'm absolutely digging it. So let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. As always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts like a Jack Wolf, then we carry it. If it's going to be on that tight. What is happening, everybody? I got something in my eye. Shut up! I just realized I left my hair up. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to rock the pony. Rock the pony. Yep.